there are circumstances and situations that will cause resistance to continue showing up. And the one place that it shows up in is in your mind. And so even if you have a plan for the year, even if you have a vision, even if you've done some inner work, it is very likely that you will still face a measure of resistance. Listen, one of the things that I do because I have had, you know, a circumstance in my life where I really had to like police my thoughts. I really had to become aware of my thinking. I take myself through a practice. Listen, guys, this thing is practice. This thing is practice. And most oftentimes, we're attempting to practice the, the thing, like the work that has to be done, the, the physical hand work that has to be done, but not the practice that needs to be done up here. So, one of the things that's super important is that you pay attention to what you're thinking. Pay attention to what you're thinking. So, if you pay attention to your thoughts. Now, I made a post earlier asking you to pay attention to your thoughts today. If you really did that and you related it to something that you were wanting to do, you will see more than likely that there were thoughts of doubt. There was something saying, not now, um, well, I don't know. There were thoughts of doubt. And so you have to ask yourself, where did those thoughts come from? Where are those thoughts that I'm having generating from? See, what you focus on is what will grow. What you focus on is what will grow. So instead of your results growing, as it relates to your plan or your vision, what's growing is the thoughts and those seeds of doubt. And so developing a practice for your thinking, retraining that subconscious programming that's going on in your mind is huge. Listen, as a coach, nothing breaks my heart I can't say nothing breaks my heart more because I am so um, touched by many things in the world. So I can't say that this breaks my heart more than anything, but it's, it's up there on the list as a coach in a coaching environment. Let me say this so that this really breaks my heart. To see someone who has what they need and they don't do it. They come up with all I mean, money is paid, so it's not the money. They the coaching with me, so they pay the money, but won't do it. Like they're faced with resistance. Of course, I walk them through whatever is necessary. But if they don't show up for that, does that make sense? If they don't show up to walk through the process, and so. Yeah, that's that's huge for me to know that if they just practice that thing that I told them. Because so oftentimes we do inner work and we think, okay, that's it. And awareness is a space of inner work. But changing your thinking, right? So inner work is, you know, maybe you're aware. Maybe you've done some um, policing your thoughts and changing your thoughts but you need it for each new level.